it's about 8.20 right now and it's after my Florida vacation. As you can tell, I'm not in the location where I normally would be, but I am just gonna take you guys along with me on my morning, my little reset. This is my first day back home with like nothing to do today. I'm not gonna be thrifting and I'm just gonna like stay home and just try to reset and just kind of like do things for myself today, which I don't like ever do. I'm trying to like really switch things up this year, you know? So I'm gonna start the morning with some lemon water just because I would like to be starting it with celery juice, but I forgot to get celery heads at the grocery store. I could just pick some up, but for right now, I'm just sticking with celery juice or lemon juice. Start my mornings. I took my vitamins. I also am taking B12 because I am eating mostly plant-based. I need to take B12, so I use the Garden of Life Organics. It's just like a spray and it tastes really good. I just got this just to try out, but it's elderberry syrup. So it's for like immunity and things like that. Yeah, it tastes a little weird, but it like helps me feel good about like making healthy choices also if my face looks a little weird i have started the practice of putting olive oil on my face in the mornings and in the evenings it acts as like my serum i'm genuinely not sure if that's super helpful or not but i read about how someone does that like they live over in italy and i obviously make sure i get like the best like cold press extra version all of that so that's like not full of lots of chemicals and stuff and I haven't noticed a bad reaction and I definitely think that it does help my skin stay moisturized and glowy so that's what's on my face right now it usually just takes a little bit and then my face will soak it on up so that is what's on my face and I'm going to take a little teaspoon of elderberries here and get going with my little morning Okay, so what we have right here is some homemade hazelnut cold brew that I bought and I like made the cold brew myself. So I have that right there. This is like what I've been liking to have in the morning sometimes. And then right here, in here, I have some homemade almond milk. So I just blend it up like a cup of, the recipe is blend a cup of almonds with three cups of water and then you can sweeten it if you want to I put a little agave nectar in it and I put I put a little vanilla in it too I have some cinnamon here that I'm gonna stick in it and then I'm just gonna froth it with this little blow And then I'm just gonna add that to my iced coffee. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Jenna Martin. This is a day in my life. I finished my lemon juice water and I'm just gonna like let that sit for like 30 minutes before I like drink anything else for today. That coffee that I made earlier just sat in the fridge because I'm not quite ready to drink it. I just wanted it ready. So I've started journaling every single morning and it's just like a way to just kind of word spit. Like I don't set any expectations for myself it's just like writing what i'm like thinking about down and just like getting it out 
of my head. I forgot to sign my entry. I do that every morning now. Then after I journal, I will read the Bible. So my mom for Christmas got me this little like prayer journal. It's just cute and it has reading plans in it. I'm going through the introductions to the gospels and then inside you follow these like prompting things. It says, copy some scripture, what phrase speaks to your heart, how can we relate to your life, how can you respond, what are you grateful for, prayer requests, what's on your heart today, for like if I wanted to rant about anything. So I've started using this just a little bit, just to like get to know the Bible better and grow in my faith. I am a Christian and I can be really like back and forth with following God and it's honestly something that I used to be very religious and then I really like turned away from God and now I'm trying to follow him again but it's honestly so like foreign to me I like don't know how so I'm just trying to every morning and evening I'm gonna I've been reading the bible journaling meditating on his word and stuff just to make that a practice and a habit so i've been doing that for about a week now it's something where it's been like a mental shift instead of saying i want to do this i want to do that switch it to i am this for me it's like i am a follower of jesus i am a disciple of christ and i am a reflection of god and so when i say that i am those things then it sets up the questions of Okay, so what would a person like that do? I mean, I'm really flawed at it, but I'm trying. And I think that like for anyone, like just starting out there is really, really helpful and it'll help you get to your goals. I'm gonna journal now in my Bible and in this book thing. And then we'll see where the rest of the morning takes us. <laughs> This morning, I'm gonna have a smoothie bowl. Recently, I've been having a lot of just like, either I have a smoothie or I have a smoothie bowl. Also, I had a brain in and that was that weird lump this morning. I took it out, so that's just how it looks right now. My trusty neutral bullet. I love having smoothie bowls because they're really easy on the digestive system. I don't really have much that's frozen besides bananas and my spinach it won't be like maybe as like creamy of a bowl as usual i'm gonna start out with two bananas and then i'm gonna put in a lot of greens this time so i'm just gonna dump the rest of that in this is a lot, <laughs> a lot of greens. I also was watching Elena Blankard, like the surfer girl on YouTube. I love her. She's so, uh, I love her. She's a mom of two and she's like a pro surfer and all this stuff. And she's a vegan and she made this really cool, like super green smoothie. So I'm going to do what she did. I'm going to add cilantro into it. So that makes it super green. So last night I used half of this cilantro bunch um now i'm gonna use the other half that 
that's a lot of greens right there. Look at that. Oh, heck of a lot. Next, I think I'm gonna put half of this mango in it. I need to cut it. Oh, this isn't a great mango, but that's okay. Next, I'm gonna add some ice. Then I've been using these green, these greens right here. Hello. So I've been using that and I just use a scoop of them. So that has like a lot, a lot of good stuff in there for you. And then I have some spirulina, which is like one of the like top superfoods out there. It just has like so much in it. And it also like per teaspoon has two grams of protein. So it's like very protein rich, which is super cool. Next, I'm gonna add some of this is like reishi mushroom powder. So it's for a focus. And I've added this in smoothies before. I'm just like trying to make it really, really good. And then I'm gonna add some ground flax seed. And I'm going to put in some coconut water to blend it. Alrighty, now that that's blended up, I'm gonna spoon it out. It's the consistency right there. And then I think I'm gonna add the rest of this mango on top. And that, my friends, is the finished product. So, so good and very green. All right, guys. I'm going to my mom's house. I decided to because I haven't seen my baby niece in a really long time and I really want to see her. So I'm going to go to my mom's and help her chocolate dip for, well, I was going to say for Valentine's Day, but I guess it's not for Valentine's Day anymore. We're headed off. I need to go to the post office. I think what I'm going to do is I'll just leave my mom's early to go to the post office before I meet my friend Jess at my house is where we're meeting to go to the mall and then what I'm gonna do is I'll go to the gym after I hang out with Jess. I have a workout program that I forgot that I had made and I'm gonna just do that. It'll be our day for me so I'll bring you guys along. Welcome to me being super vulnerable again. I didn't vlog anything since I got back to my, from my parents' house, because honestly, like I haven't done anything. And I had a health issue pop up again today that's kind of severe, and it makes me not feel like myself, and like, honestly, like, I feel alien. And I'm hurting really bad because I don't understand why it keeps happening. And it's just like a really, it's just not a great issue. Good 
morning guys welcome back to my channel it's the next day so I filmed yesterday and I wasn't feeling very well it's a lot better today it's not completely gone but it's almost and so I'm more confident than what I was anyway I'm headed to the bins for the first time since I've come back from Florida. That'll be an exciting thing. After the bins, I'm only going to be there till about 10 and then I'll go to the post office, go home, and then I have a modeling shoot for um, a vintage brand in this city. I've worked with her before, except before I was taking content for her, so I was modeling the clothing and taking pictures, but this, like myself, but this time and like editing everything this time she's going to be taking pictures of me and I'm just going to be like the model and I won't have to do anything besides like model the clothing so that'll be fun sorry guys I'm literally have been forgetting to vlog um so I finished up the bins. I didn't really find anything and I just went to Target and picked up a few things and yeah like it's been pretty uneventful but I'm really enjoying getting started early yesterday. I slept in and just like stayed at home and didn't really have a lot to do and honestly that gets me in a funk and I just find that I enjoy life more when I'm doing more and have just like more of a schedule and a setup and more of a routine so yeah it's I've seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay I move on each and every day the past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change. Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago So I am at this girl's shop right now. Her name's Redo Vintage. You should look her up. She has a really cute online store and that's where all of my um, items that I'm modeling are gonna be at. But I'm just at her store now. Um, and right now I'm picking out some more clothing to model. But I got this stack here. And then this is the rest of her store. It's super cute, you should definitely check it out but we got a massive stack right now so I'm just gonna stick that up further for now and then I'm gonna go and she's taking a little break I'm gonna go and look through the rest of all of this stuff and yeah then we'll keep shooting for today so I'm super pumped to be looking through all of it and modeling it because I, I love doing that kind of thing that's what's up.
I do like this dude. Alright, I'm gonna turn these around. Okay guys, I just finished up the gym. I did a really good workout. I just did arms today and I did my normal walking that I do. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you stay to the end, please hit that like button and subscribe because that supports my channel a lot, it means a lot. And I'm really like, I'm, I'm so encouraged by the amount of people that have been like following and subscribing. Like that means a lot. I love that like people would want to see like a video that I bring out of my life and I have heard from some of my friends and they like love them and I'm just like, oh, that's like so kind and so sweet and like that encourages me so much because I love filming when I get started but sometimes I'm like not always in the mood or I'm just like, you know, like I go through the emotions of the day and it like, like yesterday, like I had to stop and yeah, like it's my life, you know, it's edited but like it's my life and I appreciate you guys so thanks for watching and I hope you guys have